Hi colleagues, how are you? How are you feeling? I have to tell you something. I had a fabulous feeling today. I was in, I'm staying in Florida um, from my Northeast great friends and friends in Denver, wherever, wherever I have friends, <laughs> friends in um, Jakarta. There's this area, there's this uh, famous grocery store in Publix, well-known grocery store called Pub, I mean, in Florida called Publix. And I love it. Um, but I have to tell you, since I've been here, this is my sixth week here. I have never seen toilet paper in, in this Publix that I shop at. And today there was toilet paper. Ah, it just gave me hope. So I'm feeling great because of that. Just feels like there's a sense of things, some sense of normalcy is, is coming back. And that feels, that feels really good. So uh, anyway, how are you feeling? You maybe not, maybe didn't have a moment like that, or maybe you did. Um, I'm thinking about you. I'm concerned about you. Sorry I wasn't here yesterday. I had some issues with allergies, wasn't feeling that great. Um, but anyway, so this week is all about reading. And in, with that, I wanted to start the week doing a read aloud. So I know many of you know this book, Every Living Thing by Cynthia Ryland. I read Bore Out There. Um, nice and short as it was my my video was 15 minutes long so it was too long than I that I wanted um, but anyway I want to really model and I was talking to the parents about um, some tips and some things to think about uh, so part of it is like reading aloud for for their kids and having another opportunity to hear another story hear it read aloud and then of course I'm going to use it throughout this week to refer to and, and last kiss from la from two weeks ago. But then also, um, I really want to show parents like, what does read aloud look like? And you know, I talked to them a little bit and I know you know this, but I'll never forget that moment when I was a first year teacher and some amazing mentor, probably Mary Osborne, maybe Giselle Johnson, you know, somebody said to me, um, you want, you need to read Al Moon to your kids. It's one of the greatest books ever written you know, by Jane Yolen. And I remember reading this book aloud and thinking, I am so privileged to read these words. They are so beautiful. I am so privileged to read these words and read this book. That's what I was talking to parents about, you know, like we know the power of reading. We know that kids need to be able to read, to survive, to thrive in this world. But I also want kids to know the power of stories, the power of language, um, the beauty of all of that, and to feel it. And I feel like as parents, as teachers, that's our responsibility, you know? So I talked to them a lot about that, about, um, you know, make sure that you're talking throughout the book as you're reading. I gave them some ideas on what they can talk about, you know, things like, you know, I talked to them some tips like stopping, you know, often, doing, letting them do something aloud, so, you know, totally fine for that. And also, you know, you know, asking their kids to give them ideas around characters, main character, secondary character. And then I also talked to parents about the, the power and the importance of when a book is over, it should stay with you. And so to have some conversations about how is this book making you think or feel, you and with your, your child, your reader. So, uh, yeah, so I did bore out there. I, I went, went, you know, you can you can look at the video, but the emphasis again was on feelings, you know, and which was great because you could really see how in this book Jenny's feelings went from up low energy feelings to definitely down high energy feelings, and then back to down low energy feelings. So it was kind of interesting, very interesting to see sort of how her feelings changed in a very quick amount of time in a very short story and to pay close attention to that because that really helps to reveal the themes, which I'll reveal that throughout this week, but um, that was the, the emphasis for the work. So I will see you tomorrow. I will not keep you for a long time. Um, I hope you're doing well. I miss you. I love you. Bye.